Seating it? It penetrates metal. Yeah. It gets nasty mad at some point, maybe. At which point it explodes. It dishevels, I should say. It may also create a really high pressure, but it just certainly dishevels. And the parts come out in various ways. Some are highly altered and transmutation. And some you can say, well, this one wasn't altered at all. But you don't know whether it was altered into something else and then retransmuted it back. It's real hard to tell. Because the efficiency of the transmutation is very high. And so when you start running some experiments, which are on the list and on the net, of uh, these things in a little transmutation vial that I purposely uh, don't let any new material in. It's all solids initially, and it's all pure, and it's doing a mass analysis, a mass spectrometry analysis, about every every five seconds. You run it, look at it, and look at it again. Well, the first burst, which lasts a second, you, you see a, a, a few characteristic lines that are exactly equal to the powders or what material you put in there. Well, that looks good. But there are some little strange lines beginning to show up. Hit it again. More strange lines. Hit it again. More strange lines yet. Pretty soon you have transmuted the transmuted the transmuted product. And pretty soon the whole baseline of the spectrometer run is filled with stuff. Whereas before there's only been a few primary items put in there. More transmutation is very obvious with that sort of thing. Because you can't blame it on external contamination. There's no way. You can't blame it on so many things they usually do say is the cause. But uh, just transmutation. Your blinkers going. Oh. He's probably bored as hell too. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, we got an editing booth to get the all really funny things in. Back of this lady's head is all it's going to show. No.